Hello, this is Water Elemental. And this is What Do. And this is One Bit Heart, or as I called it, Bit Heart Heroes or something. To something you. along those lines. <laughs> this is a game that I've been bugging Water Elemental about for, I'd say, over a year now. A long, Since long time. Since Doki Doki. Yeah, quite some time. Um, a fun little adventure game, and I think that you guys are going to enjoy it too. Made by uh, Miwashiba, a gentleman who's made only a couple other games, and one dude who did basically everything except for what you hear. Do we need a face cam for this one? No, 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 no. Okay. I don't believe that will be necessary. It really is. Like, I know the last time I set you up with Doki Doki Literature Club, and now you're on edge. You don't have to be on edge this time, I promise. You're the same it's person just... that made it. There was a <laughs> failed recording of, what was the game that we played? Is um, it Hyper Dimension It was Neptunia? Hyper Dimension Neptunia, where the Rebirth. game broke. Oh. It broke the game and all textures were broken. He's like, we can power through this. I'm like, no, <laughs> I am not posting this. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about that this time. This Hopefully. is just literally just a good, fun little adventure game. And Information. This game contains elements of logical deduction. You will, be, you will receive some hints for these segments, but for those poor of, <laughs> at mystery type games, there is also an option to show extra hints. Would you like to consider yourself a poor at games that require a figure logic? Um, let's go to the X. I think we'll be good in that. <laughs> I play video games. The game will proceed as normal. I'm going to move the microphone a bit so... Oh, my new speakers are not liking that. <laughs> ah, details. Oh, the little squid man. How adorable. Little dude's waking up. Hanging oh. out. Rezzing, being an what adorable, an adorable trap. little main character. So nice. I'm gonna turn that little more. And the chapter one: dolphins' dreams and milk tea. I don't. I don't like where that heart's going. <laughs> well, that is where a heart usually yeah. is. So I will. I will be our dear friend Nanashi, if that's all right. Huh? That late already? Guess I overslept. Not like it matters to a shut-in like myself. Hmm. What should I do today? I beat all those games in my backlog. Maybe we'll go see what Mikado's doing. Here, Here are, are the, the controls. controls. <laughs> Arrow keys, uh, confirm is enter, and space. Got so it. those of you who have played sort of RPG Maker, low budget indie kind of uh, games, it's very similar controls to that, where you've got your ZXC and your arrow keys. That's basically the majority of what you'll be using. Okay. Um, gotcha. One thing, I think it's a next box. Ah. So if you hold A, and then push and move in a direction, you'll go faster. Got It'll it. be nicer to kind of speed a few things up. And we can check this anytime at the computer in Nanashi's room. And here we are. I love his, like, his asymmetrical design with mm -hmm. one one good leg, one not good leg. Mm -hmm. there Adorable it is. little sprint. Oh, there, there's a little bit of timing. We have to time it right or else he doesn't sprint. Yes, it is a little bit, a little bit tricky. Are you sure you want me to voice a female character after the events <laughs> of Doki Doki Literature Club? So, it's okay. It's a man. Morning, big brother. Ah, morning, Nanashi. <laughs> well, expect, except for the part where it's noon. <laughs> it sure is. And I've got to get going soon. I believe there's still lunch in the fridge, but you'll have to get your own for dinner. Got it. I'll order, order a pizza or something. Your body's going to get weak and flop, floppy if you eat nothing but pizzas, you know. Like you, big bro? Ah, uh, yes. I used to eat nothing but pizzas, too. An unbalanced diet, to be sure. Oh, can you make a note for me? I've always written everything I, I can see. Uh, sure thing. You're already read right up to the neck, though. Where am I supposed to write? Hmm? Uh, the thigh, maybe? Oh, that would, I think we, yeah. <laughs> That one might be a little bit sketchy. Uh, wait, no, that that is... Okay, I forgot yep, which no. character I was. <laughs> You're good. Some, uh, some are where checking in public won't get me strange looks. Okay, let's try my cheek. Uh, oh, too bad. Well, tell me what to write. Sure. It's not too long. 5257579435373289910. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. You, never mind. <laughs> Five two five seven five seven nine four three five three seven three two eight nine nine zero 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 zero. Ooh, why didn't extra nine? Sorry. Hopefully, it's not in permanent marker. <laughs> just as I thought. Um, but I don't know why you can't just use the memo fu phone eh, memo function on your bit phone. 
It always been said you remember things better if you write them down. <laughs> right, thanks. Well, then I'm off. Okay, bye. Hmm, I'll wait a little for lunch. What now, I wonder? Okay, back to bed. No. What? What an, a great day it's been. We got up, we went to the couch. <laughs> nah, I'm not in a going out mood. <laughs> and now I'm going directly back to bed. What an eventful day. Okay, bedtime. Uh, uh. Nani? Surprise! Huh? Bakana! Question mark. Who the? Mm -hmm. Who are you? That's what I'm saying. This is my futon. Uh. Oh, forgive me. I'll get out of it. Mm. Uh. Where'd you come in? There aren't any guests. And this is the seventh floor of an apartment. I don't know. Uh, even you don't know? What's your name? My name? My name is Asani. Right, I'm Masani. Everything else I don't remember. Masane, good name. And I guess sleeping in my futon is just how it goes if you don't remember anything else. But about how much can't you remember? Anything on your mind? Er, uh, I've never seen headphones quite like that before. Oh, you mean my bit phone. I made this myself. What's a bit phone? Bit phones are devices used all around the world. People who use these people these days are obligated to always wear them. It connects to, with brain waves and uh, processes them, I think. It used to have a lot of problems, but with technology now, it's pretty safe. Most bit phones are kind of like this. Connects to their brain waves. Does each person have an ID of some sort? Right, when you're born, an ID is created for you, and it goes along with the citizen census. Side note, you've probably noticed there's a lot of expo exposition right out of the gate, so enjoy! I'm turning it up because I didn't realize I turned <laughs> off the music completely. Mm -hmm. um, it's, mm -hmm. it's got a jazzy track. You can pick usernames on the internet and stuff, but IDs are completely unique and you only get one. Kind of thing, social security numbers. Well? Oh, well, oh. remember anything? No, not yet. But if you only have one ID, wouldn't it be dangerous if someone else took it? Well, there's something called a master program. And there's a control room for, for it at the very top of 307 Tower nearby here. The master program's 99.9% .9 safe, they say. Basically perfect, although it used to be managed manually. People were nervous about the idea of leaving control to a program, but it's been about four months now and nobody thinks anything of it. What could possibly go wrong? There used to be taste cases of lost IDs, but now, not a one. So it's probably fine, right? Oh, you know, if we're saying it's 99% safe, <laughs> everything's going to be fine and no expedition will cause any crazy or kooky adventures. Yeah, that doesn't set up any flags, right? Not at all. I see. So then, who manages this program? Oh, that's my cousin, Big Bro Mikado. He made the current master program all by himself. Amazing, huh? Mikado? <laughs> I've never heard that name. Well, you seem like you lost your memory, so I don't know what else you were expecting. Lunch! Let's go outside. I might learn more information if I go about town. Ooh, outside? Is there a problem? I mean, I've been a recluse for about four months now. Going outside's not my forte. Kind of a bother. I've got kind of a shut-in pride to uphold. Um, you're a shut-in? Oh, I guess I didn't introduce myself. I'll let him finish for a moment. I'm Yoshi Nana, uh, Yoshi Nanase. Everybody calls me trash, pest, maggot, spineless, dust, plankton, moron, and all sorts of other things. So call me whatever name you like. Oh, and my goal for the future is world peace. Uh... Something the matter? Er, well, do you have a more proper nickname? Huh? Those are no good. Uh, I guess Nanashi then? That's what Mikado talks calls me. Nanashi, I see. Nanashi. Okay. Okay, so I can't go aside, and you have no memories, so what should we do? Play video games. What? I'm going outside with you, Nanashi. Well, I mean, if you want to go outside with me, then I'll go with you. What about your shut-in pride? Oh, don't worry about me. If you say leave, I'll leave. And if you say buy yakisoba bread, I'll go do that. If it makes you happy, I'll be happy too. 
You don't care about yourself. Uh, huh? Well, I don't want to get sick or anything, and I'd like to have a peaceful old age, but... For the most part, if it's useful to others, and it makes them happy, I will do literally anything. So if someone told you to die, would you die? Yeah! If my life could save someone else's and it made them happy, I'd give it to them for sure. But I only have one life, so I kind of have to be careful about such a decision. I see. I think I understand you now, Nanashi. Also, you should call me Mis Misune-chan. Oh. Huh? But we met like five minutes ago, and I can't really call a girl my age Chan. That makes you sound like my girlfriend. Please, call me Misune-chan. Wow, you sure are proactive. Got it, Misada Jen. I can't promise I remember it all the time, though. Now, let's go outside and turn around town. We'll decide what we do as we wander. Ah! Oh, Misana Chen? Are you okay? That was a ter That was a such a natural tumble. It kind of brought a tear to my eye. Sorry, I have a bit of happening of tripping over nothing. Okay, that's great. You got cool qualities, but you also got clumsy ones on top of them. I think that's amazing. Also, I'd be kind of happy if you let go of my pants. It's looking a bit unladylike. Oh, sorry. Er, uh, let's go. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to have a dance party for a little bit. <laughs> dance party out of the room. Oh, hello, okay. brother. Bruh. Huh? Mikado, weren't you going to work? Oh, not a she. Just forgot something. I'll be heading back very... <laughs> Nanashi, when did you meet such a cute girl? Come on now, you have to tell, you should have told me. Um, Mikado, is it? Yes, I'm Mikado. It's probably extremely, tri extremely trivial for me. No, I just, I, I got <laughs> her Japanese and I started speaking Japanese for a second. My bad. Uh, that's probably extremely trivial information to you, so don't worry about remembering it. Uh, Mikado. Oh, this is Misane. Chan. Uh, she was sleeping in my futon, said she has no memories. You know anything, Mikado? Hmm. I see. That's unfortunate. I'm good at guiding towards a fixed result, but this sort of thing is beyond my expertise. I've seen animatics suddenly regain their memories on TV. Maybe you just need to live as normal. But I don't know anything. Not even where I live. Then you should stay here until you remember, I think. If you have parents, they should come looking. You can't act without a solid information. Is that okay? I'm not home much. You can use this room if you'd like. Uh... Oh, I'd better hurry before the big shots get mad. Nanashi, you're alone with her, so don't attack her or anything. <laughs> That's just a joke, right? Of course not, dummy. Misune, you take care too. See ya. Huh? What is it, Misane? I just thought you teams two seem similar. <laughs> you can't associate an unremarkable piece of garbage who abandons his student responsibilities and blows the whole day watching TV and playing video games at home with a genius like Mikado. Can you, we maybe do something about your willing calling yourself garbage, Nanashi? No. Should we? That's what everyone says I am. People at school told me not to come anymore, which is why I became a shut-in. Mm -hmm. So you became a shut-in because of things you didn't like. Uh, um, no, nah, I love my classmates, and I love school, and I had friends. But now that you mention it, everyone took me off their list. Don't you, you don't have any friends? I used to, but not anymore. Look, it's just Ka Mikado on my friends list now. I've decided an objective. Let's put my memories on hold and make some friends for you, Nanashi. Huh? Why, I don't really need friends. Please make some friends. <laughs> if you say so, Masana chan uh... How do you make friends? I think I got a little worse at socializing since I stopped going to school. Well, let's first look at your some your look for someone your age. It should be less difficult to talk to if they're similar age. <laughs> oh, got it. You should be my friend too, Masana. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm, okay. Um how? Oh, you just think friends list, and you do this with your finger, and then a window should come up. Then you send your data. Huh? What, an error? Non-existent ID. That's weird. This doesn't happen often. If it's throwing an error, then oh well. Let's look for friends. Don't worry. I'll help you. 
No, we should use Mutter for that. I can register you. Anyone can use it. What is Mutter? It's an app I made. You can tweet words and save them. If other people register, you can talk. Uh, they can talk on your feed too, and you can make groups of people and talk with each other. I made it to talk with Mikado and my parents more easily, but it kind of spread, and a lot of people are using it. For now, I'll register you and make a group. You have real talent. This looks simple to use. You think? It's pretty easy to, for me to make apps. I just look at the instructions, convert them to numbers, and then follow like one, two, three. Convert to numbers? Uh... Oh, I've been able to see the world in numbers since I was born. It's kind of like a stats window in a game. Like, Masami, you're a 77, 54, 78? Is that something like synesthesia? Yeah, synesthesia. Synesthesia. Le, 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 le. And what exactly are those numbers describing about me? Your measurements. Not the leg! Please forget that. Now let's go. It might be good to greet people around town learning about their faces and names. Okay, let's go. All right, and now so, you get to leave the apartment. The first thing I'm noticing is just how kind of like Okay, you can't select them. Just, you said it's exposition heavy, which, understandable, you have to set up the world pretty fast, but it's just mm -hmm. like, kind of, he's too overly happy, and she's just kind of passive-aggressive. Yes. So Seems like a pretty uh, pretty accurate summary. Hello. So, generally, you'll notice that the people on, on the street were all just silhouettes, Got and it. this individual is not. Anyone who is actually has a sprite is someone that you can talk to, and they do have a friendship that you can build over the course of the game. In Got the it. interest of time, I'll let you know that to progress the story, there's one individual person that we have to talk to. So if you want to jump to that one, let me know. But in the meantime, we can explore. I want to talk to this Stein knockoff. <laughs> Hello. And then, do you want me? Or? I've already got two, so it's your turn to get it. Sounds perfect. <laughs> talk to yourself. Perfect. Um, what? Hello? Trespassing into our shitary lab. What a reckless act. <laughs> I don't like the face you just made me. <laughs> Very well. As you wish, I shall make you my guinea pig. Wow, we are so not on the same page. Who are you, mister? Me? Me? Oh, yes. You may call me this... I don't believe I can outdo that one, but I will move on. <laughs> okay, would-be mad scientist Mr. Kiri. I'm not a she. What do I care if it's your name? Now drink this potion for me, would you? That's a very sickening color there. I wonder if, what'll happen if I drink this. <laughs> Muscle augmentation! Question mark. Yes, the muscles, the muscular form, the beauty, beautiful. <laughs> and I can't top that. Uh, this is kind of scary. Excuse me. Can you wiggle like that sprite? <laughs> I would, but they can't see me. <laughs> and we're done here. All right. Well, that was a uh, lovely person to have next door. Go in. And I suppose. <clears throat> I'm gonna censor that. Uh, post me just for fun. <laughs> censor. <laughs> censor with something just classy. Just in case. Give I her suppose. a suit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds lovely. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. Looking for anything? I'm looking for friends. Uh -huh. Huh? My name's Nanashi. What's yours, Miss? Uh -huh. What? I'm Sakuma, so you're window shopping? Not really, in fact, I believe I was I found exactly the pretty young girl I was looking for. Huh? What? <laughs> Could you say that again? Uh you're a pretty girl. I might faint if you had an hourglass figure too. Huh? Can't hear a thing. Did a cow moo or something? Pretty young lady. Oh, well thank you. Uh, she doesn't hear what she doesn't hear what she doesn't want to, I see. But if you're not... Oh, oh, if you're not going to buy anything, then just get out. Get out. Oh, sorry, I'll leave for now. Yeah, right, yeah, hope you see again and all that. So, just because I don't know if we'll ever get to 
her her track, but I will tell you a part of it where she only listens to what she wants to. Interesting. Is an, actually an app that she has on her bit phone. Blocks everything else. Yeah. Got it. All right, let's go to the rat ear. Rat ear. Up. Oh, not enter. Let's meet Boy Toy. Ah! Hmm? Oh, sorry, I was spacing out. What do you need? Uh, I'm looking for friends. Friends? Mm, was there a brand by that name? Oh, I should introduce myself. Hello, I'm Nanashi. <laughs> Isn't that the most adorable little voice you ever heard? I'm Mio. I guess it figures there aren't any friends here. Mm. Hmm. Sorry about that. Is it a foreign brand? I'll see if I can check on my next break. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I just have the worst girl voices is why I'm not taking them. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> you have the worst girl voice. Mio! Uh... Ah, can I have a sec? Mio, ah. me too! I've got an issue here! <laughs> oh, oh yes. Hold on a second. <laughs> Wow, you're a real ladies' man. Uh, ladies' man? Are those chips? Sorry, I have to talk to other guests, okay? What about these nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I'm good here. Yes, good. Call me if you have any questions. Meow! I'm coming! Chosen one! I'm coming! I'm coming. I think I'll I think I'll have to learn from this guy. <laughs> I think I think we're ready to move on to the main. All right, so go to the very end, and we're going to go to the next area. So that is going to be the red area. Go ahead and let's look for. Not there, not there. This dude. Nanashi. There's someone your age there. He's a boy, so perhaps he'll be easy to talk to? Uh, well, right now, uh, I wonder. But you'll help me, right, Masai-chan? I should mention that I only do so in a pinch. Please do your best before it comes to that, Nanashi. <laughs> oh, you want to see me flounder and then help after. Okay, got it loud and clear. I'll get hit and shatter. I hope you don't shatter. Hello. Huh? Nice to meet you. I'm Nanashi. Huh? What's your name? Uh, not Tsukage. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you want something? How about we go have tea? Huh? No. What are you talking about? Then let's be friends. It'll be a yes if we're friends, right? Uh, no. Why would I be friends with a total stranger? And a stranger... A strange one at that. Well, don't you want to find that out for yourself? No! I don't care. Try someone else. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I failed hard! What kind of bizarre invitation was that? Okay. Well, I heard it's easier to get people to agree if you present unreasonable terms first, and then make them slightly more reasonable. Well... What's done is done. Time to talk. look for someone else? No. I'm going to be that guy's friend. My parents raised me to do stuff I say to the end. He seemed like a particularly tough customer, though. And he seemed to be soaking wet for some reason. Uh, I guess it's his hobby. Everybody's different. But, like, is there a trick to making friends? Hmm. Sharing interest is a key part. Maybe you should look for topics to discuss. Ah, uh, uh, he was holding an ice cream popsicle. So would I, like, talk about his favorite ice cream? Ice cream? He must have gone in from the candy store there. Go check inside and might see what you learn about him. Oh, we're kind of like stalkers, huh? Please don't say that. It's just necessary, all right? Then let's gather info in the next tab. All right. Condi? Not there. But you can always talk to this fine individual. I will take this one. And you can tell from the noise that we're in for something. Hello! Welcome. You're a new face, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm Nanashi. Nice to meet you. 
Ah, Mikado's cousin, wasn't it? I hear about you from time to time. Shitara is my name. Nice knowing you. Wow, you know me, mister? I'm glad. Uh, miss. Uh, but according to your measurements and everything, you... Miss. Okay, miss. Good kid. I wish my brats could learn from you. Huh? You have kids? Not my children. They're much younger, but they're twin siblings, siblings of mine. Incidentally, though, I'm looking for romance. Nanashi, I bet you'll be a fine man in a decade. Oh, I should, should I take that as a compliment? I guess I will. Thank you. <laughs> One can never start too early, though. Um, kidding, kidding. You're too fun to toy with, Nanashi. No hard feelings. And if you see those little rascals, you'd best be careful of their meddling. All right, I'll be best careful. Excuse me. See you around. <laughs> Glad we stopped by. Toodles! Uh, other direction. It was actually the that first door. I don't know. Con candy I don't know Kanakana. <laughs> so where? Um, no, me neither. Oh, I totally get old lady. Excellent. Hello. Upsy Daisy. Oh, what is it? Did you win a free ice cream? Do you know a blue-haired boy who eats ice cream? Ah, Natsukage. Yeah, he loves it. He so he comes by often. Yeah, that's him. What do you know about him? Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, he plays that sport. Sushi, right? He's very cool. Like ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I ever tell you about the ice cream? I have a little muffin on my lap. He's called mittens. As they say, so fast that old eyes can't keep up. That little mittens is adorable. Muffin. <laughs> Sushi run. I think she means uh, sky sea run. It's kind of like surfing. You use a special board to run on the water. It makes it look like you're fine. Hence the name, I think. Come to think of it, I thought I heard his name before, but I think I saw Natsukage at a national tournament. I see. You know a lot about this kind of thing. Well, when you don't go outside, you watch TV and news a lot. Say, why do news programs play more than half the day? Don't you think that's weird? So, would you happen to know what sort of thing Natsukage likes? Yes, he really likes that sushi run. Oh, as practicing up for it in the Coca Banana Ice Cream is the kind of buddy he likes the most. I see. Is there somewhere around here where one would practice this sky run? Oh, uh, yeah, at 307 Tower on Blue Sun Street. I think there might be a special stadium or something. Let's go there, and please remember what you just heard, too. Got it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I pet your cat? <sighs> oh, you want to touch my little muffin? Very well. She's an old little lady herself. Not too rough. Go on, Hanukako muffin. <laughs> Why are you beating my cat? It's petting. Ah. That's what petting is, right? No. <laughs> I'm petting as softly as I can. Muffin, you're a little, you're a little pancake now. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cute. This cat's so cute. I want to stay here forever. Nanashi! Uh, sorry. Bye, miss. Bye, Nanako. Muffin! <laughs> it's like a, <laughs> Muffin's like a Pokemon. He can only say his own name. Muffin, Muffin. Or her own name. Uh, we have an objective. I think it's good that we leave off here. In the next episode, we'll go to Blue Sun Strip to go learn about surfing. Sounds like an adventure! Alright, next on on One Bit Heart. We will see you then! Pew 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 pew! Pew pew!